OK, we're with Callum Hawkins, the FPSG Athlete of the Year for 2017. Congratulations, Callum. Thank you. How does that feel? Because it was really strong opposition this year on the shortlist. Yeah, it's just, I don't think I can actually put it into words because it was such a strong, strong, like, people in it. And uh, I think it could have gone either way. Anyone, any one of us could have won it. And I don't think anyone else that didn't win it would dis be disappointed. But I'm just happy to sort of be on <laughs> top of the list. And, and the sort, of, the sort of twelve month period that we looked at, it all started really uh, at the Eurocross where you took that individual bronze medal. I think you sort of kicked on from that, that, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, this, the end of 2016 gave me a lot of confidence to then go on and do what I've done this year. And coming up to World Champs, um, I was just in a different frame of mind I was the year before. If you told me I would have been fourth last year, I would have ripped your hand off. But this year. Slightly disappointed with fourth, but I knew that I could do something like that. When you look back, maybe a bit further back in, in, in your time, you know, five years ago when you came back from America, uh, from university, you had knee surgery at the time, yeah. you really couldn't have foreseen this. Do you think that, in a way, was a turning point, getting back to here and, and, and getting into training at home? Yeah, definitely. I think um, coming back and everyone was probably the best thing for me. I think if maybe if I'd stayed out there, I'm, the way things are going, maybe my knee because I had two knee surgeries, the second knee surgery I might have not got, I might not have picked up that my knee still wasn't quite right, so I might not be running today and just coming back and the support that my club, Scottish Athletics and of course my family have given me has really helped me get to where I am. So you think if you'd been out there you could have drifted out of the sport? Could have, yeah. You, you've said there, although you're supported by the club and the family, you do train a lot on your own, you're, you're yeah. not really buoyed up by a group in a sense, but does that maybe just show that it's what's right for each person, for each individual. There are so many, there's different ways of doing it, isn't there? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big believer of um, a, fa a happy athlete is a fast athlete, so whatever works, whatever you're comfortable with, and, and to really, it's whatever you can do, you just got to make the best of the situation you've got. So the right environment for yeah. you might not be the same environment for someone else. Exactly, yeah. Thanks, Callum. No Congratulations. Worries.